Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Veronica and today I am starting a new challenge for me and for you guys called the Creative Flow Challenge. Now, it's gonna be all month of June and the whole idea of this is to just go with the flow, let go of some of that perfectionism that we have as creatives, you know, having something be perfect before we post it online. You don't even have to post anything online. If you wanna just participate, that's fine. If you want to post it to Instagram, I'll be there. If you want to post it to TikTok, I'll be there too. Wherever you want to post it, or if you don't want to post it, that's fine and up to you. The idea of it is to just let go of the stresses of creating art and get back to the basics, get back to sketching, doodling, just filling up a page of the sketchbook. And that is what we're going to do. So once you have your sketchbook, I'm going to be using this one right here. The idea of it is to just fill up one page every day. So that's all you have to do. You can doodle, you can do color swatches, you can do nice paintings if you feel up to it and you can keep up with it every day. You can do whatever you want. You can do something different every single day. You don't have to do something, uh, the same thing every day that you did before. You can, you can switch it up, do whatever you want as long as you fill up one page or a spread if you're feeling like you're up to it and you have time, a whole spread or a page every day. That way we get a little bit of creativity in our day because I know summer's coming up. A lot of us parents who had kids in school now are gonna have kids at home every day. We're gonna have to take them to the park and the zoo and playgrounds and play dates and all these kinds of activities in the summer and it gets a little hectic, I know for me. So keeping a sketchbook in the summer is a great way for me to still stay creative, still get my ideas out and onto paper because otherwise they kind of just disappear and just, just keep my sanity through art by keeping a sketchbook. All right, enough of me rambling. I am going to start day one right now with you guys. If you want to do what I am doing, go ahead and do the same thing I'm doing. Otherwise, just grab your page grab whatever medium you want, whether it's paint, colored pencils, pencils, watercolor, gouache, whatever you want, and just start, okay? And then use the hashtag creative flow challenge on Instagram or on TikTok, and I'll find you, I'll encourage you. You can tag me at veronikazubek.art, uh, <laughs> and um, that way we can all kind of cheer each other on and make sure we're all doing it. I'll see you in a sec and I'll show you what I'll be working on today. It's easy. Okay guys, so here is what I have and what I'm gonna be using for this challenge. I just found this in my studio. I have a lot of sketchbooks that I usually don't use because I'm intimidated by them. But I found this one and I haven't used it yet so I decided to use it for this challenge. It is Arteza eight and a half or eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter. So it's a nice square. Um, 110 pounds so I can definitely use some watercolors on here or acrylics or gouache and it doesn't have a lot of texture like it's a little bit textured you can't really see here but it's not like super super rough so it'll be okay for gouache um, so I'll be using that and today to make it easy because I am running out of time I gotta go pick up the kids from school I like to not fill up the first page because that's just the thing so I'm gonna fill up this page right here with a blind contour. That's what I'll be doing today. So if you wanna join me, go ahead. Um, I'm not gonna be doing this totally blind, maybe half blind, um, which means you're taking an object. So let's say I want to draw this plant. I won't be looking at it and trying to be very detailed and copying exactly what I see. What I'll do is I will be looking at the plant while sketching and not looking at my paper. So you can either, um, that's called blind contour. So you're only gonna do the outlines, but you're not gonna be looking back and forth between your paper and your object that you wanna draw. You're just gonna be looking at your object and drawing right here without looking at your paper. Now, I like to take a peek once in a while just to see how it's going, you know, just kind of catch my spot where I am. So it's not totally blind, it's like half, 
but most of the time I do not look at my paper. I only look at my object. Now I'll be doing a plant, but not this one right here. I will be doing, I'll show you this plant right there. So it's got a little vase and it's got nice easy leaves and that's what I'll be drawing today. So if you wanna do that with me, um, you're welcome to join. So go grab yourself an object. It could be a cup, it could be a plant, it could be a tree outside if you're out there, anything you want, maybe a person, a dog, anything, anything around your house. All right, let's get started. I am gonna grab a pencil or you can grab a pen like I said whatever you feel like working with um, I'll grab a pencil for now and let's begin so like I said don't look at your paper just kind of find your spot but then don't look at it anymore so I'm looking at my paper right now just to kind of find my spot where I want to begin um, right here maybe and now I'm gonna stop looking at my paper. I'll tell you every time I look at my paper, just so you know. So I'm not looking at my paper, not looking. I'm gonna get the vase first. And I'm gonna try not to lift my pencil off the paper either because once I lift it off, then it's really gonna start getting confusing and I won't know where I am. That's when I sometimes take a peek if I accidentally lift my pencil. So I'm gonna draw this little stem going here. And it's supposed to be messy guys and just fun. So don't worry about getting it perfect. That's not the idea. The idea is to kind of let go, learn about um, the shapes and sizes of certain objects that you're drawing just by looking at them and observing instead of relying on like meticulous copying of it. So this is just supposed to be fun. So don't worry about it if it looks kind of wonky and crazy because that's the point. And over time, you might even get better at this because your eyes and your hand are gonna learn how to coordinate together to create these drawings. And you can always come back to this drawing that we're doing right now and like fill it in with color you can add color you can add splashes of watercolor in the background maybe that's what i'll do um okay i'm gonna take a look now at my paper oh my gosh that's a mess <laughs> but it's fine it's okay i'm gonna add these little dots that i have here on my vase so i'm just gonna I'm not gonna look at my paper again but i found my spot so that i know that i'm on the vase and i'm just gonna draw some of these in Um, okay, I'm going to look back at my paper right now and I'm going to try to get some of these stems just so they look like they go somewhere. I'm going to add this little flower or I mean leaf right here. So I'm looking at my paper right now, just so you know, just to clean up a few things because I just want to. You don't have to if you don't want to. All right, that's it. I think I am done right now. Maybe I'll add a few more little circles just here. Um, and I will add like a line right here so it looks like it's sitting on a table, you know, so it doesn't look like it's just floating in space. And there you go, I am finished. Um, if you want to, like I said, you can come back to it right now and just add a background, um, you can color the leaves if you want, depending what you um, drew, what your subject was. You can come back and add whatever you want. It's up to you. I'm going to add these little yellow dots that I have on my vase. I'm just going to use this um, Karan, Karan Dosh Neo Color Aquarelle. I can't pronounce this. This is like a water soluble wax pastel. There you go. That's what it is. It's really good because it kind of feels like a regular crayon, like a kid's crayon. But then if you add water to it, it 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 acts like a watercolor pencil. And it's really nice. I really like it. Um, maybe I'll do the background a little. Maybe I'll add some kind of a wash. What do you guys think? Maybe I'll do that. 
that sounds fun. I'm gonna grab these little watercolor palette here. Mm, I don't know what color to use. Maybe I'll use some kind of a pinkish purpley mix back there. Um, so I'm just gonna get the rest of this wet first and then I'll drop in some color just to give it a little more smooth edges. Okay, I'll add a little bit more blue for the table part, but not a lot. And I'll do a shadow like right here. Now, if you wanna add color to the leaves, if you're doing a plant, go ahead. Maybe I'll do that. Just a tiny, tiny bit of color. Whoops, it splashed on my other page. All right, so I'll add just a tiny bit of green here and there. Just a little splash of color. Okay, I will grab, I'm just kind of making this up as I go, guys. I have no plan for today's sketch. Like I said, I'm just kind of going with the flow. I am seeing what I created and I am just kind of making decisions on the fly of what I want to experiment with. I am experimenting today. So I think I will grab this pen I have right here. I wish I had a different one, but I don't have one on hand. So this will do. This is just a black brush pen. It's for lettering, but I'll use it. Whoa, that's wet. <laughs> Did you see how it bled right here? Cause I had, I still had wet paper there. All right, let me dry that first. I have a little dryer here that I use. enough. I'm just going to go over some of these lines just like very loosely because some of them I just want them to pop a little bit more. I just want them to be darker. So I'm holding it at the at the end, not right here because I want less control. And that way it just looks a little more loose. It's gonna match the whole sketch a little bit more when it's loose like that. All right, that's it. I am done for today. This is my page for day one. I'm gonna write a little 
Where's my pencil? I'm just gonna write a little one down here so I know that it's from day one. And that's it guys. Like I said, this is super easy. Tomorrow, I think I'll do some landscape swatches, or swatches, landscape thumbnails. So I like doing landscape thumbnails because it, it gives me a lot of ideas in one spot for different landscapes. So we'll be working on that tomorrow. So if you kind of come back and you want to watch me do that tomorrow, come back here. I don't know what time I'll have it up, but I'm hoping to get it up for you in the morning. All right, guys, so I know I said my goodbye already, but I feel like this needs just a little more color here and there. I just, I need more color. So I'm gonna grab some of these um, water soluble crayon things and just, I'm just gonna add little, little splashes of color here and there in the darker spots on the leaves, just because I just feel like it's just still missing something. It just needs a little more. Now I'm gonna try not to overwork it because I tend to do that. I tend to do too much and then I'm like, ugh, I went too far. I don't like it anymore. But I'll try to stick to something, something that doesn't ruin this whole thing. this color. I'm just adding a little texture here in the background with this. I mean, it's white, so you can't really see it, but it is adding like, I don't know if you guys can see it. It's adding just a little bit of roughness so it doesn't look so smooth. I kind of like that. Now, so it's a little darker. And then I'll grab a little gray here for this shadow. some color I'm just having fun now now I'm really letting loose and going with the flow guys I found my flow it's coming just a little just a little color uh, I wish this one back here was darker but all right now I'm done now I'm finished all right so like I said before, I hope you enjoy this creative flow challenge. Come back and join me every day, either right here on YouTube or on Instagram or on TikTok. Same hashtag, same username, Veronica Zubek Art. You can find me like that. I will be posting my sketches every day. And if I do do a video every day, I will post it right here on YouTube where you can find it. So make sure to subscribe, hit that bell button so you get notified so that you don't miss any days and that way you get a little motivated because every time you see me post you'll be like oh no I gotta fill up my sketchbook so that will give you a little boost of motivation um and also there's gonna be other people joining so you'll see what other people are um sketching what they're creating and you'll get a little little bit of inspiration all right so I'll see you back here tomorrow bye